Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn about standard atmosphere. Okay. So as we talk about aerospace vehicles, we know that there are basically two types of aerospace vehicles. When we talk about aerospace vehicles, they are of two types. Number one is atmospheric vehicles. and number two is space vehicles. Now what are atmospheric vehicles? They are basically aeroplanes, helicopters or all those vehicles which fly within earth's atmosphere. They fly within earth's atmosphere. And what are space vehicles? These are rockets, satellites. So they mostly fly outside Earth's atmosphere. Although the space vehicles fly mostly outside Earth's atmosphere, but during their launching or when they come back, they also have to face earth's atmosphere so it becomes important to understand what are the properties of earth's atmosphere okay so let us try to understand this with an example let's say you want to swim okay so before jumping into the pool you might want to know what is the temperature of the water you might want to know how deep the water is whether water is flowing or it is still water so you would like to know all these facts about the water all these properties about the water and then you will decide like you want to swim or not right so in the same manner it is important to understand what are the how the properties of that air varies with respect to altitude okay now the problem with earth's atmosphere is that uh, its properties like pressure temperature density they vary with respect to various factors such as number one is altitude so as the altitude changes as the just a minute so as the altitude changes pressure temperature density varies they also vary with respect to location they also vary with respect to time of the day and they also vary with respect to season like for example with respect to altitude as the altitude increases generally temperature will decrease now depending on the location let's say someone uh, is flying in new york someone is flying in maybe new jersey someone is flying in moscow someone is flying in london so depending on the location we'll find that we'll have different temperatures now depending on the time of the day will experience a different temperature in the morning, will experience a different temperature in the afternoon. And depending on the season, of course, in winters we will we'll have different temperatures, in summers we will have different temperatures. So due to all these factors, pressure, temperature and density will vary. So what they have done is, they have basically conducted, conducted few experiments. So they have, uh, they are basically trying to find out the variation of pressure temperature density with respect to altitude okay so what the what the scientists have done so they have used you know, something known as sounding rockets and hot air balloons and they have tried to find out the variation of pressure temperature and density with respect to altitude and then they have drawn a mean chart something uh, they have drawn a chart just a minute so they have drawn a chart of mean properties so so it looks something like this so here we have altitude we have temperature we have pressure we have density so at standard sea level the mean temperatures are 288 0.16 Kelvin mean pressure is 101.325 kilopascal 
मीन डेंसिटी इज़ वन पॉइंट टू टू फाइव के जी पर मीटर क्यूब सो दीज आर द वैल्यूज एट मीन सी लेवल तो सिमिलरली दे हैव फाउंड आउट सम द प्रॉपर्टीज एज द अल्टीट्यूड इज इंक्रीजिंग सो लेट से एट थाउजेंड मीटर ऑफ अल्टीट्यूड दे हैव फाउंड आउट सम प्रॉपर्टीज एट टू थाउजेंड मीटर्स ऑफ अल्टीट्यूड वी हैव दीज प्रॉपर्टीज एट थ्री थाउजेंड फोर थाउजेंड एंड सो ऑन सो दे हैव फाउंड आउट द वेरिएशन ऑफ प्रेशर टेम्परेचर एंड डेंसिटी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू अल्टीट्यूड एंड दीज आर बेसिकली मेन वैल्यूज सो वी कैन टेक दैम एज अ रेफरेंस फॉर ऑल द लाइक वी कैन से दैट इफ समन इज वेन एयरक्राफ्ट इज फ्लाइंग एज टेन थाउजेंड मीटर ऑफ अल्टीट्यूड वी कैन फाइंड दी वैल्यू फ्राम दीज चार्ट ऑल दो द एग्जैक्ट वैल्यूज विल वेरी बट दीज आर अप्रॉक्सीमेट अप टू अ रीजनेबल वैल्यू अ रीजनेबल डिग्री ओके सो दिस इज वट इज स्टैंडर्ड एटमोसफेयर नाउ वट दे हैव डन दे हैव नॉट जस्ट ड्रॉन दीज चार्ट दे हैव ऑल्सो फाउंड आउट द मैथमेटिकल रिलेशनशिप ऑफ ऑल दीज वैल्यूज विद रिस्पेक्ट टू अल्टीट्यूड now if you'll find the now let me plot uh, that variation of temperature with respect to altitude now let's say this is altitude and this is temperature now up to a particular height the temperature you can see the temperature decreases linearly here we can see and up to a particular height this is up to 11 kilometers up to 11 kilometers the temperature will decrease linearly the temperature will decrease linearly up to 11 kilometers and above 11 kilometers up to around 25 kilometers the temperature will remain constant the temperature will remain constant so this layer is known as gradient layer and this layer is known as isothermal layer and we have also found out that within the gradient layer the temperature varies at the rate of 6.5 kelvin per kilometer minus 6.5 kelvin per kilometer and this value is known as lapse rate so we can say that formula for temperature variation within the within the gradient layer could be t1 let's say we have to find temperature at point 1 is equal to temperature at sea level minus 6.5 kelvin per kilometer here this is in kelvin per kilometers into h where h you should write in kilometers because this is in kelvin per kilometer okay so this is the formula for temperature variation within the gradient layer so once you have found the temperature variation within the gradient layer we have formulas for pressure variation and the density variation as well and the formulas for pressure variation the formula for pressure variation within the gradient layer is p by p1 is equal to t by t1 minus g not by lr so this is the formula for pressure variation where p and t p and t are sea level values are sea level pressures and temperatures and in p1 and t1 so one indicates the point at which you have to find the pressure and temperature so once you know, so once so you first you will find out temperature from this formula and then once you have found out the temperature at that altitude let's say you have to find values at 10 km of altitude so once you have found the temperature at 10 km of altitude then you will put in the value of temperature t1 here so t we already know that standard sea level temperature is 288.16 kelvin so the st the standard sea level pressure is 101.325 kilopascal so using and the lapse rate is you already know minus 6.5 kelvin per kilometer r is gas constant which is 0.287 kilojoule per kg kelvin and g not is standard acceleration due to gravity which is 9.81 meter per meter per second square okay so using these values we can simply find out pressure at any location 
P1. Okay. So this is the formula for pressure variation. Similarly, we have the formula for density variation within the gradient layer, which is rho by rho 1 is equal to T by T1 minus G naught by LR plus 1. So this is the formula for density variation as well. So using the same technique, we can found, find the pressure variation and density variation at any point within the gradient layer. So once you have found within, so now we are done for the gradient layer, but in the above diagram, you can see that above the gradient layer, we have something known as isothermal layer. So we also want to know what is the pressure and temperature variation within the isothermal layer. Now for isothermal layer, we must first know the pressure and temperature at 11 kilometer of altitude because this becomes the base of this isothermal layer. So, first you have to find pressure at 11 kilometers and temp temperature at 11 kilometers and density at 11 kilometers. Okay. So, you have to find all these values using these three formulas, these density variation, the pressure variation and this temperature variation. Using these formulas for the gradient layer, you can find pressure, temperature and density at 11 kilometers. Once you have found out these values, now let us say you have to find pressure at say 20 kilometers. So, the, how then we can use the formulas P by P1 is equal to E minus G naught by RT H minus H1. From using this formula, we can find the pressure between 11 to 25 kilometers of altitude. But here the H, T and P, these values are for, all these values are for 11 kilometers. So, these are the values. So, you have to use these values at the reference. So, using these values, we can find the pressure at any uh, at any uh, altitude between 11 to 25 kilometers. Similar is the formula for density. For density, we have rho, sorry, rho by rho 1 is equal to minus, is equal to E power minus G naught by R T H minus H 1. So, same formula just instead of P by P 1, we have rho by rho 1, but the right hand side remains the same for both the formulas. Okay. So, you, then you can find the, uh, so here also first we have to find density at 11 kilometers, temperature at 11 kilometers. And then using these values, you can find the density at whichever altitude you want within 11 to 25 kilometers of range. Okay. So, this is how, this is how we can, this is the mathematical relationship for the pressure, temperature and density within the gradient layer and within the isothermal layer. And this is how the charts are made. So, this is all about standard atmosphere. Thank you.